or hypothetical that I hope will clarify things a little bit. Um, so suppose we have um, a, an African-American lawyer, this is back in the 60s, segregation time, 50s, 60s, um, who is across the street from a restaurant and they see, they know that the restaurant is not serving black customers through the front window. And at this time, the law says you're supposed to be, and they're not. They're making these people go around the back. And he's obviously upset about this. He feels the dignitary harm of seeing this happen. But he somehow disclaims that he ever would have gone to the restaurant, ever wanted to go to the restaurant, et cetera. Is it your view that he would have standing to sue because he is aware of, he sees this discrimination occurring, but he's also said, I would never have subjected myself to that. And, and he's seeking injunctive relief, not damages? Yes, yes. Um, yes. So, uh, so under those circumstances, if you're not going to ever go up to the counter yes. and ask for food, yes. then you don't have standing. So why um, isn't Ms. Loeffler that person? Because Ms. Loeffler has alleged that, or did allege, that she would go back to the website and confront the accessibility barrier. The important thing about but that... But she's not confronting the barrier if she's not asking for food. I mean, she sees the barrier. I think this is where the breakdown is, I think, right? She's not like a tester who actually went to the counter. They didn't really want the food. They were only doing it to challenge. Motive is irrelevant. You, we all agree that that person would have standing because they actually went there and they experienced the discrimination. I want to know why she isn't the um, uh, lawyer looking out the window across the street, seeing this happen, and how can you say that he's confronting the barrier? Because she went to the website and she engaged with the website. So he goes she... down, he goes out across the street, he's standing there, he's, he goes. He's not just looking from across the street, he's literally right there at the counter because he wants to document this happening because he has in his mind, I really want to stop this, I'm gonna sue. Right. But he never goes to the counter to ask himself for the food. Yeah, so I think, I think Ms. Lawfer is the, uh, is in, in her circumstance, when she goes to the website and she engages in uh, the reservation service, she is uh, encountering that accessibility barrier. Right. But the, I think the government's position, if that, doesn't, if that doesn't resonate, the government's position, I think, it works as well, again, in this compatible statement. Some of the amicus uh, briefs raise 